Yes, yeah, since 2015, the Pain La Belle sweet potato pie available at Walmart has become a staple on America's Thanksgiving table. And nobody has been a bigger cheerleader for that pie than this guy. Sweet potato patty LaBelle. This is the patty edition, honey. This is the on my own. Why did it? Oh, there we go. Come on, patty. You better come on. Come on, patty. If anybody know Patty LaBelle, tell her in the video. Patty. The Patty LaBelle sweet potato pie at Walmart sells an average of 36 thousand pies every single day that's 1500 per hour or 36 pies every three seconds it's not unusual but the patty labelle sweet potato pie has been hijacked by mass productions and chemicals so what happens if i scan it with the yuca app it is the mass production of that pie that's ruined it i guarantee you the original licensed recipe wasn't corn syrup and soybean oil. All right, here we go. Welcome to the channel. I want to make a sweet potato pie. I want to do this for Thanksgiving. However, however, Mr. Meatball would not allow me to do it. On Thanksgiving, Meatball uh, ate something and damaged his trachea um, esophagus. And in all fairness to him, whether he has chap lips or a broken leg, it's the same emotion. It was heartbreaking to see Meatball, you, you, so defeated and sad and not eating. So he ended up going to the doggy hospital. But anyway, he's 100% now. 100% and he's ready for Christmas. But his ailment changed my Thanksgiving week. There's a lot of things I didn't do because I was so worried about him. And one of the things I didn't do is this sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. If you watch my Instagram, eh, you can kind of get the fragments of what's been going on. Um, I was never working on my truck between October and January. No, it's my opportunity to work. It's sitting over there. So, um, I'm taking a specific amount of time off in, in January, and instead of traveling, I'm 100% committing to that, and I really hope to become obsessive again. Jump. There you go. All right, I need to wash, I need to wash. I'm gonna make a sweet potato pie. My understanding, I have to begin with a pound of sweet potatoes, and that equals about three medium to large size. To maintain the robust flavor, these should be baked in the oven. I can wrap them in foil and put them in the oven, but I'm absolutely gonna give them a head start in the microwave. Right. So let's go so let's go through some of the ingredients that I'm gonna be using today. I'm going to introduce a creamy maestro of unsalted butter. This is gonna orchestrate the perfect balance between indulgence and subtlety. Alright, sweetened condensed milk but I'm using half and half with evaporated milk, all right? I'm also spiking that with the rich flavors of maple syrup. That seems like a sugar. The heartbeat of a recipe is an egg. It is the golden yolk that is the promise of a silky embrace. We're gonna sprinkle in ground cinnamon, the, the fragrant dance of flavor, ground cloves and allspice which will uh, bring in the flavors of complexity. A pinch of salt sharpens the symphony and elevates the sweetness. The aromatic maestro of this production is organic pure bourbon vanilla extract. And lastly, light brown sugar, which is the caramel caramelized soul of the pie. This is a Southern culinary masterpiece and a sweet embrace that will echo time. All right, so the stove is at 400. Hey Siri, set a timer for 40 minutes. Hey Siri, turn off my timer. Reset the oven to 350. Let's take the sweet potatoes out, they have to cool. I've taken the oven to 350 because I wanna do a pre-bake on the pie crust so there'll be a flakiness on the bottom. 
these sweet potatoes. Woo! Do you think you could be there? Be, behave. I'm gonna start peeling the sweet potatoes and come up with about a pound of them that will go in this bowl. Now let's mash. How many tablespoons is a half a stick of butter? I'm gonna add the creamy, luxurious blanket of butter. So I'm gonna do a nice splash of this. This I have to be careful because it could keep the pie from setting up properly. So I'm talking. So we're gonna go half a cup of the brown sugar. Every sweet potato is not created equal. Some are sweeter than others. I'm gonna make the decision right now if I'm adding more sugar. And that answer is I'm not, I'm adding more syrup. Two, teaspoon, two teaspoons of the vanilla. Okay. And we need a half of a cup of this combination of condensed milk and evaporated. I'm gonna do more of the condensed. Taste for sweetness. Okay. Mm, teaspoon of allspice. Did somebody say ground cinnamon? All right, so it's two eggs. So yeah, and one yolk. Whew. It's like a southern hug. Although my mother didn't make this, my grandmother didn't make this. But I didn't. Think, I didn't grow up with sweet potato pie. The first time I had sweet pota potato pie was at Morrison's Cafeteria. Their Sunday special was, I think, four seventy-five. Blue Plate Special gave you traditional turkey dinner, two vegetables, a meat, a roll, and a piece of a pie of your choice. And I always chose sweet potato pie. Now, let's get creative. This is calling for one tablespoon of flour. I do have that, but I also have cinnamon bun pancake waffle mix from Trader Joe's. Cinnamon bun pancake waffle. So it's just a tablespoon to set. Uh, sea salt, just a little bit. Ground cloves, a light sprinkle. I have a pre-made pastry shell. Poke some holes. This is the perfect time to clean up this mess while I'm waiting for the pie crust to pre-bake. You ready? Pie crust is ready. You know when you were sick and sad, it sure was quiet in here. Okay, it'll probably take me that long to clean the kitchen. Meatball, come on. We're not eating this till tomorrow. We're not eating this till tomorrow. We're not eating this till tomorrow. Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour and 10 minutes, please. It's gonna take me that long to clean up this kitchen. Anyway, so that's it. That's actually the entire purpose of this video. I wanted to check in and I didn't know how to do it. What's this? I have 390 vlogs. And sometimes I step away from it for so long, I don't know how to turn it back on. Today is an attempt to get my rhythm back for the videos and the vlog. And woof, I'm telling you, there's a lot riding on this sweet potato pie. This is my very first sweet potato pie. It almost has the texture of a pumpkin pie. It's missing a little sweetness, a little, a little. In fact, if you told me that was a pumpkin pie, I'd believe you. Okay, two things. There's a texture consistency problem and that is because I was so worried about uh, fibers that I pureed the sweet potatoes too much. Texture is a problem, it's mushy. 
Number two, it's missing something. I didn't use nutmeg. I am not waiting for next year to perfect this recipe. Let's do it again. I get home in five hours. Okay, okay, hold on. Well, your daddy's got a taste test. It's just... Meatball is happy. Are you happy? Meatball's happy. The pie? I'm gonna give it a nine, a nine, it's a nine and a half out of 10. It's fantastic. This is an organic, as much as possible, sweet potato pie without all the chemicals of the, po the poisonous patty one. I like it. Here, you lick this. And I say, you know what? Not only did I just get two delicious sweet potato pies, you just got a brand new vlog.